The San Diego County Board of Supervisors is proposing to give funds from a federal government stimulus package to county workers, and this would total $40 million in hazard pay. Now, these employees were able to work from home during the pandemic and didn't miss a paycheck, or they didn't even have to work in person like grocery store employees and medical staff. Here now to give her reaction to this proposal is the chairwoman for the Republican Party of San Diego, Paula Witzel. Paula, good to talk with you tonight. Nice to talk to you too. So very bold, um, you know, uh, not well received kind of message coming out of the County Board of Supervisors so far. How are they justifying this hazard pay for county employees? Well, um, you know, that would be a good question because as you said, 60% of the employees uh, were working from home. So the question comes up as to uh, the hazard they were, were facing. And of course, we're happy uh, that all the employees were able to stay on board, that everyone was paid their normal paychecks, they received full benefits, uh, all deposits towards their retirement. So no one was uh, jeopardized in that regard. But at the same time, we now see our neighbors and our friends and, and the people here in my building where I work uh, lost their businesses, the employees lost their jobs. And so we see the hardship that the county has faced because of the pandemic. And so uh, the question comes up as to whether or not the stimulus funds uh, can be used uh, to help these people that were less fortunate and were not able to keep their jobs during the shutdown. Yeah, because the past year, everybody has taken a hit. And so you kind of have to categorize, you know, what hit was most severe? Was it the folks that completely lost their job, completely lost their business? Or were, was it the folks that were able to, you know, ma maintain afloat? And these federal funds, is there any um, parameters on how they're supposed to be spent? Or is it carte blanche that the Board of Supervisors will decide? It's the Board of Supervisors that will make that decision. They are putting together a framework on how to spend the stimulus funds. And in that framework uh, has been uh, set aside 40 million for hazard pay for county employees. And as you said, 60% of them were able to work from home. Now, you know, we support law enforcement, the first responders, everyone who was out there working during this time, but they also continue to receive their normal pay to do uh, the jobs that they were hired to do. So we welcome and, and support those employees. So that's not the issue. The issue is that so many uh, others were not able to uh, stay afloat and, you know, they can't pay their rent. Um, they are having difficulty putting food on the table. So there's just a lot of hardship out there. And so those funds that came from um, the federal government to help distressed uh, businesses and uh, people who were unfortunately unable to keep their jobs and might be better spent on those people uh, who were not able to stay afloat. Yeah, and this full package, how much is actually going towards helping those folks? Because, I mean, it's simple economy here. If those small businesses don't survive, our entire ecosystem, financial ecosystem, is going to fracture. Yes, and, and the thing is, is that, you know, when a business shuts down, uh, what people don't realize is that those are jobs that are going out the door. And in the current environment, it's very difficult for those jobs to be replaced. And some of them will never be replaced because some of those businesses are never, never coming back. So uh, the purpose of these stimulus funds was to help those that uh, were severely impacted with the pandemic. And so I think it needs to be examined and... Um, you know, at the same time, the county has a budget and, you know, county employees uh, are included in that budget. And so, of course, um, any raises and that sort of thing that will be considered in that budget. This is money that's completely separate and over and above anything that would be coming the county employees way in terms of normal raises and that sort of thing. So I just think that uh, there are more people that are more um, unfortunate and in a more hazardous situation. And we are our brother, brother's keeper, so we need to keep those people in mind. Yeah, so this isn't a done deal yet. What would you say to folks if you disagree with uh, this uh, budget as proposed by the Board of Supervisors? You need to contact your supervisors and let them know that uh, this money needs to be spent in a more um, equitable manner uh, and you know, spread out to people who really are suffering with this shutdown and are, are unable to pay their rent and uh, are in a more unfortunate situation. 
So we um, we think that you need to support um, the efforts of you know the grassroots to um, call the board of supervisors and uh, let them uh, make them aware that this is not how we want our money spent. All right, Paula Witzel, with Chairwoman from Republican Party of San Diego. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.